Grand Rising, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, the reason I say welcome back to my channel, because y'all know this is going right on the YouTube video, right? The YouTube platform. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. As the Chinese would say, you got herpes? Do you have herpes, guys? Yes, no, maybe. Well, short answer, yes, you do have herpes, okay? When you come to this realm, okay, and you get all them shots that the doctor gives you, well, he's shooting you up with herpes, guys. So that if you so-called get the herpes virus, it recognizes the anti, the, the, uh, the, uh, it recognizes the disease, so you won't get sick, whatever, right? Now, how you know you have herpes? You ever had a bump? You got herpes. I don't care where it is, it's a herpes. Potato, potato, right? And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because... I had got something right here. It was a little teeny bump. But I was like, oh my God. I'm going to have a herpes breakout. Right? But it wasn't. Because I know my body. And I know how to go in there. And, and I'm not stressed out. What breaks. What makes a herpetic breakout. Is stress. Trust me. If you in the monitor. You got the herpes simplex virus. Within you. Everything outside of you, honey, is in you. I don't care what it is. Any virus ever had on the planet Earth, you have it, right? But stress and other things bring it out in different people. So, there, so don't, if you have a bump here or a bump there, don't feel a certain type of way because somebody can judge you. Because guess what? We all have it, right? I noticed for the last 20 years I haven't had any type of breakout because I haven't been or let myself get that stressed out. Although I've been through stressful situations. But my thing is, and I'm going to say the dope thing anthem, fuck it. Right? Now, I use that in a positive way now now I, I used to use it in a negative way like fuck it fuck them bills fuck that nigga you know or you know fuck them people and all that stuff but now i'm like fuck those negative emotions now as far as negativity is concerned i don't think negativity is a bad thing it's just a source of energy or a energy type of paradigm that some of us find ourselves in negativity. You need negativity and positivity together to spark a charge. Now they say negative and positive. They say opposites attract. Yes, opposites attract. But they have to have the same goal in mind, right? Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about real quick because I'm about to go on my YouTube channel. Sorry for the noise. I'm watching. Okay. So another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is pooping, right? Be like, Janice, are you obsessed with farting and pooping? Well, the short answer, yes. Because that is the exact way you're going to see how your body's flowing. It's in your poops and in your farts, right? And like Anisha, uh, thank you Anisha, because she enlightened me on something. If you're not pooping or farting or having poops, you back up, right? And I'm going to show you how to unback yourself, guys. You're welcome. Okay, so how you unback yourself, right? You go ahead. Now you're going to be giving birth. And when I say you're going to be giving birth, you're about to be giving birth to five pounds of fecal matter. Right? Now, it's not going to come out all at once. 
Make sure when you do this, guys, you are not at work. Make sure you have at least a day. And this is going to be with your own hands, not up your butt, on your stomach, okay? How you going to do this, right? You're going to place your hands on your sacral chakra, all right? Which is right beneath your belly button, okay? Place your hands just like this and push in, right? But you don't stop there. You push in. And you have your feet on the ground and you move forward. And you push in. Because that's what you're going to be doing. Now while you're pushing in, you're going to be breathing. Nine. I like the number nine. That's a good number. So you breathe in for nine. You hold for nine. The holding is very important, guys. Do not get that twisted. That's what's going to actually make the poop come out when you hold for nine okay breathe in for nine you hold for nine all right while you got your hands on your sacral chakra which is right under your belly button pushing because you're giving birth to this poop okay so you go ahead and you breathe in for nine you hold for nine you breathe out for nine okay and then you're gonna go ahead and good morning, good morning, Peanut. How you doing, buddy? So, yeah. And then you're going to push, but you don't push your butt, guys. You don't strain. You don't have to strain because you're going to the source now, your sacral chakra. And your sacral chakra, guys, is where all the spirits are, okay? That is your hell realm, okay? That's what, what that where the worms and the and the uh, where the worms reside that speak to your consciousness. Okay, so you're going right to the source right there, and you giving birth to them worms that poo, right? The dung you giving birth to that, so that that consciousness can leave your body and go mess with something else. Okay, this is metaphysics. Guys, and you ain't going to hear this nowhere else on the planet, right? Not this information. Now, I said that I wasn't going to give y'all my deep information because y'all not being good. Y'all not going to my channel. Y'all not commenting. Y'all be in the goddamn bushes. But I'm a still, you know, I'm a good person. You know, I'm a guy. You know, that's the type of person that I am. I'm going to give you these, this deep metaphysical information, right, so that you guys, and once you get rid of this food, you're going to feel like you can freaking fly, right, because all of that dumb and all that bad consciousness, all of them evil spirits, because that's what resides in your food, those spirits that tell you to do stuff that's against the God inside of you, resides down here in your sacral chakra, your hellish realm. Okay, your sacral and your root chakra are the realms in the body that, quote unquote, Satan resides. Okay, it's metaphysical. I'll go deeper into it on my Patreon, a little bit more on my YouTube than I do on here. Because you guys, y'all not good. Y'all good people. But y'all ain't been being good because y'all ain't been coming to my channel doing the right thing. Right? Don't be in the bushes on my channel. Okay? You leave a comment because that's how I'm going to fall into the algorithms, guys. I don't feel right going to a job working. This, I want this to be my job. And if you guys don't help me out, I don't know. Okay? So, back to what I was saying. So, hands on the sacral chakra. You push forward, right? Alright? And you digging in. You dig you giving birth to these motherfuckers, right? You digging in. And you pushing forward, right? Do not strain. Don't strain. Breathe in for nine. Hold for nine. Cause that holding it, when you hold it, that's what's going to make the poop come down. 
Now, if you don't get it right away, do it three times. Oh, something's going to happen. I promise you. Right? Something's going to happen. Then you release. Okay? After you in, hold and release. Let me tell you what's going to happen when you're holding it. When you're holding it and you pressing down and you holding, that's what's going to push the hoop out. Okay? That's what's going to push the poop out, guys. You don't want this stuff in you. Because that, listen, some worms and shit that resides in them poop. Remember back in the day they said old man had worms? All people have worms. We all got them. And these worms talk. They hold consciousness. They talk and they block the God within you. So we won't get rid of these poop entities, these worm entities, right? So when you hold them for nine, I guarantee you, you're going to feel a rush. So remember what I said. Do not do this if you got to work. Do it on a Saturday morning. Start on a Saturday rising. Okay? But that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Now, I will be starting my Patreon next week. Friday will be the premiere of my Patreon. Right? Deep, high level metaphysics on that Patreon. Okay? And the Patreon is called Jay's Universe, right? <laughs> it's Jay's U and I first. <coughs> it's spelled U and I. U Universe. Y O U N I B E R S E. Jay's Universe. Because it's U and I are the birds, right? Lawrence is in the building. Mage is in the building. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Lawrence, I miss you. <laughs> so, yes, guys, I want you all to know that everything starts from the spiritual realm. By the time it has made it to the physical, honey, something deep happens in the, in the spirit realm. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to your body. Oh, no, I'm going all day today. I'm going all day today. Because this ain't no game. I do not feel right clocking in. In the morning, in the rising, I don't feel right clocking in. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm sucking myself. I'm sorry. When I clock in in the morning, every time I punch that clock, I, I feel like just bending over and doing it to myself. So that's what I feel like I'm doing. I'm cheating myself when I make this guy rich. Right? Let your gift make room for you. Whatever that is. I know so many people that I graduated with that's doing their own thing. Right? And am I jealous of them? Hell yeah! <laughs> no, I'm not jealous. I'm proud of these people. I want to do what they're doing. Meaning, I want to stay in my lane and make my gifts make room for me. Right? So, yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. You know, all of the boys on in, uh, around the world, you know, I just observe. Major! I love you, Major! <laughs> Major's mouth. Major, wasn't you my supervisor? Was you my supervisor? I think you was a supervisor, wasn't you? But yeah, guys. Um, 
You know, it's so... When we pay attention to what's going on inside and be true to the love inside, even when people hurt your feelings, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. You know? I'm sure we all have shade thrown at us sometimes. Right? And another thing, guys. You see this? And this is coffee. Now, maybe I shouldn't be drinking coffee, right? Tea. I may mean, to drink tea, right? But everything that is not serving me a purpose, I'm trying to eliminate. I mean, everything. And especially people. I'm, 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 I'm. You know, it's a it's a big block for you over here. You know, I'm 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 you know I, Yeah, I'm definitely cleaning house. You know, I'm cleaning house. I, I, I I'm not concerned with um anything that's not trying to come from me. Oh, I love you, Lauren. Thank you. The air is in the building. Lauren, thank you so much. Hi, cousin. Thank you, Lauren. My cousin in the building, Sierra. So, yeah, guys. Um, Anything that's not in doing... Any person, place, or thing that's not a harm to this temple is good with me. You know what I'm saying? No judgments over here. And if I do, I judge gently, guys. Oh, by the way, yes, I own the rights to this music. Every last piece of it. Every last song that has ever been sang on the freaking planet. Every melody that's ever not even been sung and if you thought yet, I own the rights to it. I own the rights to everything on this 3D plane, on this 3D round, up to 9D. Yes, I do. I own the rights because I made it. There you go. So, right? So, I just wanted to get that disclaimer out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I own the rights to you guys. Because <laughs> y'all are my loves. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, guys, right? If it's in my... <clears throat> if it's in my immediate space and it's not a harm, because remember, I see 360, right? I see 360. Now, I explain... Let me turn this down. Okay, let me explain these dimensions. So, three, six, and nine are the main dimensions in 3D that you can actually acquire, right? 3D is when you pop out of your mama's womb, right? Six, to anything up to that is just to like the stay a step up. But the main, the main dimensions or rooms, or realms, or positions. That's what a dimension is. It's a room, it's a realm, and or a position. It's not spooky, okay? So, you got 3D, right? You pop out your mom's womb, 3D. You got 6D. It's when you can go inside, right, of your mind, and look at stuff, right? And inform yourself, you know, and give, you know, an analysis and move differently. And to get to the next, to fly to the next piece of information, right? So that's when you can fly, right? It's 6D. 9D, when you graduated to 9D, you can, you don't need wings, right? Because you have become the observer, right? You can look at every situation, every way. You can, 
Look, if somebody come in your space, you already know what they about. You already know what they ate for dinner. Pretty much, you if you know so much about what they don't know, you know, right? Because you observe, you follow patterns. I I can look at somebody. You can blink a certain amount of times, and you can like do you know anything you do. I'm analyzing. Now, yeah, that's a lot of work to someone who's not trained on the inside. It's a lot of work. But to somebody that is constantly doing their shadow work, it's just like riding a bike. You know, bam, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. It's like the God within you is working. That's it. It's, all it is is being tapped in. To the God within you. It's not. See. We be thinking. We saying different. The church be thinking. We saying different stuff. But I'm here to tell y'all. I went to the tea. I went to a tea yesterday. Right. And it was mostly religious. But I agreed with everything. There was no disagreement. That I seen within my spirit. You know what I'm saying. The only. Maybe just a little thing. That I disagreed with. Well, no, I don't even disagree with. It's believing. You know, believing is a, uh, you know, a, you know, it's like, I believe, I believe. No, I know. You know, I have a knowing that there's a God within me that operates. Because how do I know? Because I've been seeing the evidence too many times to just believe. Oh yeah, I believe that God can do that. No. He said, command ye me. He said, do the works of my hands when it concerns what I can do. Tell me what you want. Command of me. Not cower in the corner and say, I think it can happen. I believe do you know who I serve? Do you know the God I serve? He ain't fearful. It. It's not fearful. It say, yeah, tell me what to do. I've got this. And because I know that that force, that that entity, that that love, that that unconditional love resides within me, It's nothing that I fear. Why would I? It's nothing that I hate. Because hate is a fear thing. Hate is based in fear. I don't fear negativity. You know why? Because I am negativity. I'm positivity and negativity in one big ball of beautifulness. Right? And with your negativity, if you... Want to bring that this way? I can use that. I absolutely can. I could take that negativity, ball it up, use it for both of our rises, right? Because once I show you that you cannot dictate what kind of day that I'm going to have, you can't dictate. Whether I do this or do that. You can't dictate that. You can request it. You can try to make it happen. But only myself and the God within me dictate how my day is going to roll. Right? And that's all that I'm trying to bring forth to you guys. I, I don't know about witchcraft in my life. I know about a God that resides in me. And I say God because that's what we all say to um, describe this loving and caring force within. Right? I don't have a dog on in any religious fight, in any spiritual fight, metaphysical, physical, quantum physical, um, Muslim, 
Uh, Christian, I don't, no, I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I just ride the wave. I know that everything is going to be all right. Everything already is all right. Because I've had too much evidence, too much quote unquote pain, grief, too much, too many things that happened in my life that was supposed to knock me down, right? That I was like, and, <laughs> and this is a roller coaster ride, and I'm enjoying my ride, right? You enjoying your ride, guys? That's why you came here. To experience joy. This is a university. Earth is a city in the universe. Right? Universe, city. Right? And we came to graduate this cell. These billions and trillions of cells. To move on to bigger, better existences, right? Oh yeah. So how I'm living now, right guys? Well, and then I said this a million times. Yes, I was evicted April 31st, I mean August 31st, right? And I saw all the shit on the side of the street, right? And my sons were embarrassed. Was I embarrassed? Hell no. Not one bit. Uh, what, I mean, what are people going to say? Oh, she got put out. Yeah, I got put out. Right? Embarrassed for what? My financial sta status, you know, was not up to par. You know, the budgeting was not up to par. I had just got clean a couple months before that. I'm not making excuses. Just It just is what it is. Right? So, how I deal with that and trying not to make that happen again is whatever I don't need, I don't buy. And I don't spend my money. I circulate my money. I don't even use the word spend. I got that from Reverend Ike. I don't use the word spend no more. I circulate my money. I tell my money because it's an energy. I tell that I tell that energy to come back to me tenfold. Why you think the preachers preach over the money? Right? And then you got a couple different ones preaching over the money because that's an energy that you have to talk to. I'm not saying bow down to it and and, and, and cherish it and stuff like that. But you have to respect that energy because it is an energy that translates to currency what is currency really what the real currency is is relationships and your attention and you you are the current see that's my joke you are the current see Anyway, yeah, so you are the current, right? And respecting money is not a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just like dealing with different people because money is a person. And this sounds crazy. Yes, it does. But money is an energy. It's a person that has feelings, right? So you just got to talk to it like, okay, now. I'm going to put this forth, but I need you to come back to me so I can, you know, maneuver in this round, okay? Now, come back. I'm going to put it here, come back, multiply, right? Everything. Pop. Hey, Walter Pop Matthews. Hey, Chucky Stewart. Hey, Patricia Martin L. Hi, guys. Love you all. And that's from my heart. That is from my heart. You know why I love you guys? Because I love myself so freaking much. So I love you guys. 
to where words would not even, can't even express it because they don't have those type of words yet. That's how much I love you guys because that's how I love myself, right? So this is what I wanted to say, right? So I moved in. Oh, thank you, honey. So I moved in my place, right? With my peoples. And everybody wanted, you know, this. Everybody wanted that. I said, not happening. If you don't absolutely need on the daily basis what you want to buy, what you want me to buy, it's a no for me. It's a no. If you want to buy it, you still can't buy it unless you actually need it. I don't want no clutter. I don't want no clutter in my home. I don't want no clutter in my um in my personal space. You know, even when I go outside, I don't want no clutter in my brain. Clear space, clear mind. When you can look around in your space and just see space, do you know that's where creation begins? If you're looking around and you're seeing all this clutter, clutter green. And you know what? When I was in that other home, it was beautiful, but there was so much stuff in there, it was kind of consuming me. And it was consuming the boys as well, right? I didn't even buy a trash can, guys. I'm going to tell you why I didn't buy a trash can. Because anything that I want to discard, I take it out. I take the trash out with me when I go. If I get a trash can that's going to let the trash pile up, I don't even want to smell it. I don't want no mice to smell no food. I don't, when I see, If I see one mouse. Oh, I'm getting a cat. But there's no reason for me to see any mice. Because there's no clutter. There's no crumbs anywhere. Right? Because I want a clear space. So I can keep thinking clearly. Right? But y'all. Amen. I wanted to talk about so much today. Right? But most most of the things I'm going to be talking about is going to be on my YouTube channel, guys. I had some notes over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going. That's just, that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to save the goodies for my YouTube channel, right? So if you guys want to. Um, Come over to YouTube in about what time is it? At about 2 p.m. Then we're gonna go into some deep sexual metaphysics. And we're gonna talk about what sex, magic, or sex and the lack thereof. Right? Does to the brain. Okay? So this is supposed to be on J after dark. But I'm going to keep it PG. Okay? I'm going to keep it PG. So that if you're over 18 that you would be able to listen. And I'm not going to be, be raunchy with it, guys. Do I have cups? Yes, I got cups. <laughs> Why you ask that? <laughs> Ain't nobody asked me that. <laughs> Guys, I'm going I'm to tell you how lit I am over here. I make my own nitric, nitrous oxide. And I'm going to go into how you make your own nitrous oxide. 
I'm not going to tell you what nitrous oxide is, guys. You should know. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Nitrous oxide is a, um, a laughing gas, right? Even before I knew what a laughing gas was, I mean, yeah, even before I knew, I thought I just had a laughing disease because I think the shit is funny. But I thank God for that gift of humor because it has kept me balanced throughout my life. Right? So yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about sex. Not in a raunchy manner. Okay? So get your kikis and giggles out. But we're going to talk about it in an adult manner because I think that it should be talked about because it's an awkward thing that yeah, nobody wants to talk about and everybody hides and be weird about shit but I think it's very you know important to talk about it but I love you guys very much come on my YouTube channel make sure you take your shoes and your hat off when you come into my building like share and subscribe to my channel guys anything Less would be uncivilized, okay? So be civilized and don't hide in my bushes, okay? Love you guys very much. I wish you peace. I wish you wholeness. I wish you everything wonderful, delicious, and orgasmic that your hands and your heart can hold. Bye, motherfucking doll.